uh, this morning. Let's get some responses. Many of the questions being directed uh, to uh, Senator Chere here this morning. So let's uh, get uh, some of your responses. We had Fatima, we had uh, Christopher, and uh, also Musule calling in and saying we all voted, and IBC, as said by the Supreme Court, curtailed the election. Many expected that Jubilee would be the first one to ask for reforms within the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, if indeed it is the agency that robbed them of their victory. I, I agree with some of the sentiments that uh, the, the callers have made. Of course, from I think Musule from Kayaba, that the, the economy is suffering very much okay. because of the electioneering political uh, period that we are having. The issue is, uh, I remember on the Supreme Court, within 10 minutes, 60 billion had been lost at Nairobi Stock Exchange. So I understand that we need to have a dialogue. The issue I want to, the, what Geoffrey said, he said uh, that, that us as Jubilee, we are talking about numbers. Mm -hmm. And that is why, if you have realized, we are assisting, and that is why the, the, the petition, and uh, my uh, learned senior here, Avi, would tell you that they say the third respondent did not commit any offense, mm -hmm. and we were to look at Mwope Kamapamba. The issue is we have gone and ensured we have amended the electoral laws to ensure we fortify the process is credible. And that is why in Section 83, we removed the word or and added and, so that we have a qualitative and quantitative uh, application of Section 83 of Election Act, uh -huh. say that it, it reaches a point where now, you know what shocks us? Is the, 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 the Supreme Court told us it is not important for under Article 38 for a voter to vote. We don't care about the numbers. Uh -huh. We don't care about how people vote. We want to know the process. And that is why we are in the current situation that Geoffrey is trying to do. And as as you believe you have noticed, and I want to answer him, we, if you have noticed, the reason we are confident that we will not only win by 1.5 million this time. Mm -hmm. We are winning with it. Because as you can see the president, we are, I personally, I was in Western Kenya, I have been in my own county, trying and campaign and solidify our grassroots mobilizers. Mm -hmm. But our brothers and sisters from NASA are only calling press uh, conferences and moving to courts. Their votes are not with courts of law or press conference. They are with the people. And therefore, when we talk about the numbers, it's because we are sure and we have worked hard for it. You know me, I, the, Senator, Avi has said, as I, as I wind up uh -huh. that answer, I said, of course, I come from Mosoria and I'm a very maize, maize farmer. Mm -hmm. The, so you, you see cannot, the cloud coming. <laughs> you, you cannot, the issue is, you cannot say you have a certain bags of maize without planting them, ensuring you, 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 you top dress them, and ensuring so that by the time you're saying, I'm having 100 bags of maize harvesting, it's because you have worked hard for it, and that is what we are doing. Right, but Senator, um, Jubilee is very confident that they did win the August 8th election. So <laughs> if the problem, uh, the problem isn't so much the numbers, but like most of our callers say, the process. Are you confident? I mean, Jubilee is rather confident from the meeting with the IBC uh, of the preparations of this agency to conduct the next elections. But this is still the same agency that, according to the Supreme Court, scuttled the election and stole victory from Jubilee. So what has IABC done to make Jubilee so confident that they will not steal your victory again? You know, we are, what we are doing is we are giving IBC the benefit of doubt. IBC has given us so many reasons and they have satisfied us with their preparation. But what we are trying to avoid is so that we prevent in interfering with an independent institution. Uh -huh. Because by the, some of the demands we, ha, we, we could have had might even lapse uh, by the end of time before the 60 days period ends. So, and in fact, you know the reason, in fact, we are, we are being guided by the decision of the court. Because the court did not say reconstitute IBC or investigate IBC, they say they ordered IBC to do a fresh elections. And that is why we are giving the benefit of doubt. We know they might, they, they, according to the Supreme Court decision, that they bungled, they, they might have have bungled the elections, but now we are giving the benefit of doubt, realizing that the time is short, and therefore they have briefed us, they have given us, because we didn't have com conditions. We went to IEBC Bombers of Kenya, led by our deputy party leader, we went there and ensured that we, we, we presented and listened to them because we didn't have any irreducible conditions or the conditions we have. And the envoys, uh, finally, there is this issue that there is a perception that envoys are telling the elections amendments that we are pushing in Senate and even the ongoing public hearing today, even up to the next mm -hmm. day, uh, for the next few days, is it is part time. For even sec, under Article 96, the role of Senate and the National Assembly is to legislate and amend, repeal any new laws. So there is no day, envoys, or anybody under the sun except God Himself, that He can direct 
us as the legislators to do the law at which appropriate time. Right. We are just working on our work. All right. Yeah. I want us to move on to the um, you know amendments proposed by Jubilee. So let's hear from uh, Harvey first of all, because uh, we had uh, James calling in and saying, so what is the way forward? As much as us is demonstrating, as much as uh, your irreducible minimums have not been met, uh, and um, IBC says some of them have been met. I don't know if you can collaborate that, but what is the solution for the way forward for NASA? Uh, let on, me, these irreducible uh, on, on the irreducible minimum, uh, the, the point is this. And before I address that point, let me just uh, answer one question that was raised by James. James, I was a student of Nairobi University, and I'm still a student of Nairobi University. I have educated about uh, three of my siblings in the Nairobi University. During our time, when Professor Gishanga was the vice chancellor, we had a law that even the police could not break that the police will not get into the halls of residence and the police will not get into lecture halls. To the extent, therefore, that Professor Mbithi allowed the police to desecrate the fountain of knowledge, there is a big mistake. And our investigations have disclosed without any measure of doubt that this decision was made from the highest office in this land. Why do I say so? It is now quite evident that the Jubilee administration is taking control and charge events at, uh, at, at institutions of higher learning. If you look at it keenly, you'll be surprised to learn that the lawyer for Nairobi University, quite surprisingly, is also the lawyer for the head of state. Now, when you see these things happening, you begin to understand why. Professor Mbithi does not have any justification coming out and telling us that I've closed the university because of political tension. There's no political tension. He's closed the university simply for the reason that he does not want an independent inquiry as to how the police allowed a criminal enterprise. And let me emphasize this, uh, Senator Sam. I've said the police have allowed a criminal enterprise to camouflage as them and to undertake this brutality. That will not happen. Whoever is listening, and somebody said, if there is anybody who speaks to Huru and Raila, we are speaking to Huru and Raila right now. We don't want these shenanigans. Stop interfering with the students of University of Nairobi or any other students. Let the politics be done right. outside. Now, as regards the irreducible minimum, <laughs> I know Senator here knows very well that they are going nowhere with these uh, amendments that they have put in Parliament. Because the law is quite clear on how things are supposed to be done. But why are they doing this? The thing that people in Kenya must understand, Jubilee has this issue of balancing something. That if NASA wants that, let's originate this. So that when we go to the negotiation table, we'll say for us to drop this, you must drop that. Mm -hmm. And that is how ridiculous these amendments have been uh, pursued. Because the function of oversighting a presidential election has been given to the chairman of the IABC by the Constitution. There is no way you can purport to create a clause within an act to remove that power from the chairman of the IABC and give it to the vice chairman or any other commissioner. Of course, there is a lacuna because there will be a catastrophe, God forbid, if the chairman of the IABC is diseased or is indisposed or for whatever reason cannot be able to function. But that problem is not one that can be dealt with in a legislation or through an amendment of an act of parliament. It's an issue that has to be interrogated from the source, mm -hmm. the parent constitution. Mm -hmm. So to me, what needs to be done is for the IABC to ensure full compliance. And we don't need this balancing act. IABC should uh, ensure that Al Gurea is not permitted to print the ballot boxes. IBC should ensure that if it's Safran Mofo that is in charge of the uh, transmission, they need to comply with the minimum requirements we have said. Let the system be clean. Let it be verifiable. Mm -hmm. And they cannot tell us that we have a two-year contract with uh, Safran Mofo for $2.4 that cannot be bridged. Look at your headline. The government is prepared to use $6 billion to buy maize. Please don't come and buy my maize. Use that $6 billion to pay damages to uh, al nice. pay it to Safran Mofo. And we have a clean system because we cannot complain that we are tied up with this marriage with Safran Mofu and Algra. Ma even marriages are broken right. because we'll be they become irretrievable. We'll be discussing that in a bit more detail because at the end of the day we'll also be looking at what IBC is saying as an independent institution. But, uh